So, let me see here. These glasses down because I can't see the viewfinder. <clears throat> this is the flashlight I got here. That I'm just showing you. Got three Cree LEDs, big ones. And then you got the button here. And I, I had to grab a odor. This uh, tail, whatever you call it, off an odor flashlight, and attach it to this tail hook. So that way I got a strap. You know, wrapped around my hand, so if I happen to drop the flashlight, it won't come crashing and smash into the concrete or something. I mean, this can withstand so much impact, but I don't think the metal can. So this thing is rated like, uh, uh, it's got various modes. It goes into Firefly mode, I think it's like 3 lumens, and then the next level, 96 lumens. I think if you, once you push the button, it goes into Firefly mode. Oh, yeah, Firefly mode. It's even bright bright for this flashlight. And then if you hold it down, it'll, it'll gradually go up. I think, I think it goes up to 96 lumen, and then it starts it's called Infinity mode. It'll, it'll uh, kind of step up in brightness. And then once you release the button and remember where it was, you know, if you switch it off and switch it back on, it'll remember the, the brightness that you were at. But then as you hold it down, it'll go back to Firefly mode, and then if you double tap, it'll go to, uh, well, let's see, if, like I say, in, when you hold it, once you go into Firefly mode, then you kind of hold it, and it'll, it'll gradually step up in brightness, and the highest level it'll go to in, in Infinity mode is 8,000 lumens. It'll flash three times and then when you and then when you hit the button again holding it it'll go back down and you hit it and it will flash three times at, to indicate that it's lower brightness and if you it'll just keep going up and down up and down up and down but no matter where you're at in the infinity mode even if it's dim or bright you click it twice real click the button twice it'll go into uh, uh, what the hell turbo mode which is 11,000 lumens. Then you click, double click it again, it'll go into strobe mode, which is 8,000 lumens, flashing around 10 to 13 hertz. Anyway, I'm going to go out here and hold the flashlight up into the air so the, the particles, if I can see them, see them again. So dark out here. That's when this camera can't pick up anything until I start waving it around to the area out here. So, let me see, go into Firefly mode. So it's not just Firefly mode. And let me see if I can hold it up and start scaling this sucker up like a torch. 8,000 lumens and then double click it. I don't have it any. I think it's in I think it's in turbo mode. Look at all these particles in this cr crazy air. This is what we're breathing. All this crap. And if I click it again it's going to get warm but not hot. Very lightly warm. And I click it again, it goes into strobe mode, which is 8,000 lumens. So I click it again, it goes off. Hold it, it goes into firefly mode, which is what it's doing. And then uh, it starts holding it again, and it starts scaling back up again. It's at 8,000 lumens. 
Look at these crap. Lights up my whole area out here. <laughs> and I, everybody probably think there's an alien invasion. I click it again, it should go into turbo mode. I think it's in turbo mode. It's hard to tell. And if I click it again, well, yeah, it's in turbo mode now. See, it's a lot brighter. Look at this shit. It's like it's snowing. Snowing. But it's not snowing. Okay. So, show the power of this sucker. Probably wake up my neighbors. Go into firefly mode. Go back here and barefooted. Walking back here. So in firefly mode, it's going to last like 26 days if you need an emergency lighting. So it's like candlelight for 26 days if you were in an emergency situation. Because I also have another set of four batteries which runs off 18650s that I can put in and get more extended life. Plus I have a charger. So you can't see any see shit back here because it's so damn dark. I'm trying not to wake up anybody. Everybody think, what the fuck? Okay, let me put it back in firefly mode. And then when I hold it down, it starts getting brighter and brighter and brighter. Up to 8,000 lumens. And then when I Click it again, it's like 11,000 lumens. Looked up the whole fucking. Oh, now it's 11,000 lumens. That's hard to say at times. 11,000 lumens. And then if I. I'm using my left hand, so it's kind of hard to get it right. That's turbo. There's strobe. So you can see the strobe effect. 8,000 lumens is extremely bright. It'll blind anybody, disorient anybody. So I'm going to turn it off, go back to firefly mode. Which, damn, I can't even see. My barefoot. Oh, crap. So this can probably blind a blind a flying aircraft, you know, like a pilot coming down in a plane. They would definitely see this, <laughs> but but I don't think it would travel that far because of the distance squared law of light. For every uh, foot of light, it decreases by uh, what is the square of the law, like two feet. Four, it decreases by four. Uh, four feet, it decreases by 16. So it's exponential with the distance square law of light or any electromagnetic phenomena. So, oh, so what's going on out here? There's a lot of, there's, it's too bad this thing can't capture any, might capture a fainter star. There's, plane, there's usually planes that come down. I see, an, I see them on approach. I see one coming in. I just got to get him. Yeah, I think that's on approach to the Louisville International Airport. They fly so damn fast. It's hard for this camera to lock on. So dark, it's hard for it to lock on to focus unless I force it to focus permanently or something. So it's having trouble focusing. Let me think here. I probably should have put it on night. 
um, it's set for, well, I think it, yeah, it did go automatically in the night. I was looking at the symbol in, in my viewfinder. So it automatically trying to adjust for a dark, darker setting. Let's see. Oh, I, I'm tuned in. <laughs> I said, what the hell happened here? I look, looking around. And my flashlight cooled down. It just it just gets gets warm. Don't really get that hot. Like some of these other flashlights. This is not a very good camera for locking onto flying objects. I don't know what I I think you have to kind of manually set the focus, the uh, f-stop, how fast it grabbing the image, and uh, you know, depending on the fixed target that you would have to focus on by adjusting the um, manual focus on your camera. I guess I'll end this.